What's cracking fam? Welcome to the video. Today I'm going to teach you how to live stream Ghost of Tabor or other VR content on your PC using either Quest 2 or Quest 3 on a VR link cable. I'll have the cable link down below in the description. So with this cable, one goes into your power supply on the wall socket, the other one goes into your Quest and one into your PC. Alright, so once you've got your headset on and your headset was plugged in by the cables, Got the cable running from power into your computer, into your headset. So once that's plugged in, you turn your headset on. You'll go down the bottom. You load up Questlink. Probably done this before, but in case you haven't, you launch. Okay. Then from here, you'll go to your desktop. You'll open up. Streamlabs, and I'll explain how to set this up, okay. Alright, so now we're going to add the quest so that we can record. First we're going to go to sources, going to choose window capture, this is the easiest way but it's not the way that I use. Going to add source, see window capture, add source again. Going to double click on this. Okay, so you guys can see. <laughs> now we're going to double click on Window Capture. Now, what we're going to do is choose Ghost of Tabor. You get a drop down of different windows that you can choose. You choose your game that you're going to play Ghost of Tabor. Now, sometimes this will be automatic. Um, you're going to want to choose, it doesn't seem to work for me, so I have to choose Windows 10 or 11. Hit done, that way it's pretty much ready to go. So on your screen you're going to have this up the top. And that will show you what's happening in the game. Now the problem with this method is it only shows you what's happening on the left eye and not your right eye. If you aim down your right eye, no one's going to see in the stream what you're aiming at. Which can be an issue if you aim with the right eye. Alright, so now I'll show you the second way. This is the way I stream. Go on to set of window capture, we're going to choose open VR capture. Add source. Add source, you can double click it. We're going to choose capture right eye, because I aim with my right eye, not my left. That's the problem with the other option, is you can't choose whether you want to show the viewers your right eye or your left eye. With this one, it's all set up. So we're going to close this, make sure right eye is captured if you aim with the right or left if you aim with the left. Now notice with this that the screen is small, it doesn't fit in the streaming uh, window and it's also got a wicked vignette <laughs> kind of look so going to want to change that. Alright so you're going to want to adjust this window like so. So similar, very similar to mine. Show you what it looks like. See if this is over here. See how if I move that over there, like so. You get the vignette. So you have to move that crop basically. It's hard to stream it, because <laughs> if I have that over the top, you guys can't see what I'm doing, but yeah, so you kind of want it like this. See how it's gone? And it comes back. Comes back at the bottom. It's probably up at the top as well. So that's how you change that. Okay, that's pretty much the setup. I'll jump into the game, show you the differences between the two window capture and open VR capture. Alright, so this is with window capture. It's the easiest way to set up. Problem with this way, you can't see what I'm actually aiming at right now. Like the ADS, aim down sight. Yeah. 
Get our booty. With the other method, you get to choose whether you want left or right. Next up, we have open VR capture. Tapped, and that's it. Alright, now I'll show you how to set up your audio. You have two options. What you can use is the standard Quest microphone and audio, or you can use an external headset. To use the standard Quest audio, go to Sources, and select Audio Input Capture, Add Source. I'll do Add New Source. I'm going to call it three press three mic add source in device you just find your oculus headset microphone and that's all there is to it same deal again add sources audio output capture this time i've already done it but uh do it again Quest 3 audio, add source, same thing. Now you want to choose, here it is, headphones, oculus virtual audio device, and that's ready to go. So the next step that I like to use is an external headset, better sound, you can hear like where people are a little bit better. You also get better microphone quality. program that comes with the SteelSeries headsets is called SteelSeries GG has its own um, so it has its own microphone equalizer you can use the AI noise cancellation and you can adjust whether your discord chats and stuff is louder or quieter with just a slide of a button so I like to use this it's free to download so I'll link it in the description okay to set that up if you download it you just go to sources again to input capture once again, you can call it Steel Series or just SSGG, whatever you like. Okay, now if you've set it up correctly, you'll just choose Steel Series Sonar Microphone. And you can also use this with Quest headset as well. So in the microphone settings, all you would do is choose this. Instead of choosing your headset microphone, you just choose Oculus, exactly the same as before. Now you'll just have noise cancellation and better better EQ. That's all there is to it. Alright, last of all is the settings. These are the settings that I'm using, I won't go through them all, but uh, the main ones is my output settings. So, I'll stream bitrate 6000. Low latency quality, high profile, all this stuff. You can just copy these if you like, or you can check it out on uh, Google of how to stream on Twitch. And these are my video settings. Once you've got everything set up, all you do is hit the go live button, choose your destinations. So if you have ultra subscription, you can multi stream on both Twitch and YouTube and Anything else you want, go live after you've done your title and your game. And that's pretty much it. Alright guys, that's the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you in Ghost of the Ball. Laters.